she lived once, but was buried twice. Come and hear the intriguing story of the little old lady that sent shivers down the spine of the grave robbers when she awoke from the dead. In the grim 1700s, desperation gripped the land, pushing people to unspeakable depths. Among them lurked the resurrectionists, vile creatures known as sack -em ups or grave robbers. Their sinister trade thrived, catering to the insatiable demand of private medical schools across the UK. But within this macabre world, two figures emerged, destined for infamy. Burke and Hare, their names whispered in fear and revulsion. Born in Ireland, they crossed paths in the shadows of Edinburgh, their collaboration birthing a sinister enterprise. Their notoriety surpassed mere grave robbing, they became purveyors of fresh, custom-made corpses. The tale of their wicked deeds remains etched in history, forever haunting the minds of those who dare remember. In the shadowed corners of Ireland, the resurrectionists trade thrived. Surgeons sought the freshly departed, offering handsome sums to those who could provide. Lurgan, a place known for its tranquility, held its own dark secret. It was here in 1705 that a band of grave robbers embarked on a harrowing venture. Marjorie McCall, wedded to a doctor, graced Lurgan with her presence. Happiness permeated their lives until illness struck. John, her husband, watched helplessly as Marjorie's fever raged, a deadly spectre in the 1700s. Inevitably, the fever claimed her. And she found her resting place in the hallowed grounds of Shankill Church of Ireland Cemetery. A stone's throw from their home in Church Place. Anxious to contain the contagion, her burial was swift and secretive. One would assume that was the end, a chapter closed. Little did they know, Marjorie's name would echo through time. Her tale whispered in hushed tones, never forgotten by the inhabitants of Lurgan. The wake buzzed with whispers and furtive glances, all centered around Marjorie's precious ring. A coveted gem that adorned her lifeless finger, it bewitched the mourners. Fear gnawed at their hearts. for they knew the grave robbers would not hesitate to violate Marjorie's final resting place. In pursuit of the glittering prize, Marjorie's burial loomed, yet her finger clung relentlessly to the golden band. Swollen in death, it defied her husband's desperate attempts to free it from its grasp. News of this treasure spread like wildfire, reaching the ears of the Resurrectionists. Their eyes gleamed with avarice, sensing an opportunity to secure an extraordinary bonus. With the wake concluded, where loved ones vigilantly watched for signs of life in the departed, Marjorie was laid to rest in the somber embrace of Shankill Graveyard. The secrets of her grave whispered in the chilling wind as darkness settled upon the hallowed ground. As twilight blanketed the cemetery, the grave robbers descended upon Marjorie's freshly dug grave. Shadows cloaked their illicit deeds as they wrestled with the earth, inching closer to their coveted prize. Finally, the coffin lay exposed, its lid pried open with greedy anticipation. And there it was, just as the rumors foretold, the ring gleaming upon Marjorie's lifeless finger. 
but the ring refused to yield to their thieving hands. Determined, the grave robbers grappled with the unyielding jewelry, their desperation growing. In the end, driven by their ruthless business sense, they made a chilling decision. With a cold blade, they severed Marjorie's finger, freeing the ring from its lifeless grip. Yet as the first drop of blood stained Marjorie's pale skin, a miracle unfolded. She stirred from her death-like slumber, her eyes snapping open with a terrifying force. A piercing wail pierced the night, rending the air like a banshee's cry. The fate of the grave robbers remains shrouded in uncertainty. Some say one fell lifeless, succumbing to sheer terror, while others claim both fled in frantic terror, abandoning their nefarious trade forever. Regardless, the tale of Marjorie's resurrection etched itself deep into their souls. With newfound strength, she clawed her way from the grave, stumbling back towards the sanctuary of her home. The echoes of that fateful night would never fade, a reminder of the macabre dance between life and death, forever etched in the annals of fear. Within the somber walls of their home, John, accompanied by their children and grieving relatives, lamented Marjorie's untimely departure, They raised their glasses in a toast, yearning for her peaceful journey to a better realm. Suddenly a sharp rap echoed through the door, striking a chord of eerie familiarity within John's shattered heart. His grief-stricken words escaped his lips, a desperate wish whispered into the void. If your mother were still alive, I'd swear that was her knock. With trembling hands, he swung open the door, his soul prepared for an impossible reunion. And there she stood, his late wife, draped in burial garments, her finger oozing a macabre reminder of her recent ordeal. Marjorie defied death's embrace, her pulse pulsating with life. The accounts diverge on John's reaction, but the consensus weaves a grim tapestry. His mortal coil surrendered to the shock, his body collapsing, lifeless upon the floor. A quandary unfolded, weaving joy and sorrow into the fabric of their lives. Marjorie stood alive and relatively well, while John lay entombed, deader than she ever was. His final resting place intertwined with the plot she once occupied, a twist of fate that defied comprehension. Marjorie, resilient in the face of the uncanny, remarried and bore children. Whispers lingered, hinting at a mysterious suitor who left her with child within the confines of the grave. When her time finally came to depart this world again, she returned to the embrace of Shankill Graveyard, where her tombstone still stands today, a testament to her extraordinary existence. Engraved upon it, the haunting words, lived once, buried twice. The townspeople of Lurgan keep her memory alive, tales of her resurrection weaving through generations. It is said that on moonlit nights she roams the hallowed grounds of Shankill Cemetery, her ethereal presence seeking solace or perhaps justice against those who wronged her. The Spectre of Marjorie forever etched in the town's collective consciousness, stands as a reminder of the enigmatic dance between life and death that forever haunts our mortal realm. <laughs>